Good morning to you. It is Friday. We are looking outside as uh, we are still a little. We still have a bit of time before we uh, see that sunrise come through. We're going to allow for some of that light to start to pass through within the next uh, 30 minutes or so. So that's when we'll start to uh, see a little bit of uh, the light pass through. However, keep in mind that as we head toward that time change on Sunday, we are going to, of course, run into later sunrises and sunsets. So that means that our time change is going to encourage our sunset to come closer to 7 p.m. And uh, hey, I mean, I enjoy that part of it. And I, it just reminds me of uh, allowing for so much time in the afternoon hours for the kids and for parents to uh, enjoy the daylight. However, I know for a lot of us morning people that can uh, be a challenge. Take a look at the wind advisory that's in effect. This is a, going to expire as of noon today. It's only across your San Diego County mountaintops. The wind advisory for your inland valleys has expired and really extends through much of Southern California. As far as your wind gusts go through this afternoon, we're going to be mainly in the 30 mile per hour range across your mountaintops. Again, that's where things will be gusting. Uh, we've already picked up on some of those wind gusts in that range, but it looks like even across your greater coastline will still be in the double digits around the teens. Taking a look at your view outside. This is the coastline. We're looking really good as we kick off the day. No clouds out there. That's because those Santa Ana's have pushed those clouds farther offshore, and that means that it has allowed for a lot of overnight chilly temperatures in some areas of your inland valleys. We're picking up on pockets of low 30, so it is a cold start to the morning for sure. Gusty Santa Ana winds decrease by the afternoon. Chilly overnight lows possible with some frost expected for today, early morning hours, as well as tomorrow in the early morning hours. Into Sunday, we have some clouds that will start to build, and it'll be pretty mild overall as far as your temperatures go. But as of Sunday morning, those clouds will likely stop us from cooling down all that much. We will likely then wake up on Sunday to that deeper marine layer. High temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s and low 70s, a few degrees above average. Look at that stretch from Fallbrook all the way down through Miramar. 73 degrees is that afternoon high. Ridge of high pressure keeps us warm with plenty of sunshine expected through the weekend and into next week. Temperatures warming up nicely, even a chance of low 80s in the forecast by the end of next week across your inland valleys. Mountains and deserts looking pretty nice overall as well. Remember, we're going to set those clocks forward one hour. Might want to do that Saturday night before you go to bed, and then uh, we'll, although lose that hour of sleep, again, be headed toward about a 7 p.m. sunset for next week.